What is up YouTube Drifters Premium Collectibles here and today we have a different kind of opening. Today we are opening 2023 Star Wars Tops Chrome uh, cards and Star Wars is something that I really enjoy. I'm wearing my uh, I'm all ears uh, Grogu shirt and Star Wars is just something I really enjoy. It's something I'm very passionate about that I really got into over the past couple of years. And uh, when I found out there was cards, I was like, man, I have to, I have to collect these. Like, yeah, uh, I've already opened quite a few of these, but this is the first one I opened on camera. And uh, I actually ordered this Mace Windu card right here. It is a purple refractor or purple wave refractor. So uh, with these boxes, it's very much like the sports cards uh, with Target, Walmart, they have their own color exclusives. I believe the purple wave uh, is exclusive to Walmart. And in here, since, oh, this this is Purple Wave, I'm sorry. Purple Wave uh, is exclusive to Target and Black Wave ex is exclusive to Walmart. And it says, look for two Purple Wave parallels guaranteed. And um, yeah, so we're gonna be looking for Purple Parallels, Purple Wave Parallels, I'm sorry. And uh, I had to get this Mace Windu because it matches this lightsaber. It, it just looks so nice. I wanna grade this. Uh, PSA does grade these, so. It's really cool. Um, hopefully, we get something pretty good here. Let me get my knife out of the way. It is a beautiful Sunday morning. Uh, woke up, brushed my teeth, fed my pets, and uh, it's time to open up some cards even before breakfast. So that's just the life of a collector. You gotta, you gotta open before anything else. So. Out. I love this um, I love this uh, this card game or not card game I love these cards because you get 10 packs for $20 like Yu-Gi-Oh it's like literally like $6 a pack which is terrible but yeah you get 10 packs for $20 uh, the blaster box that I just opened retails $19.99 and so you get 10 packs it's like literally $2 a pack which is awesome and the quality on these is just amazing, which goes to show that like Yu-Gi-Oh, they're just like really just like scamming us with like the quality of card for how much you're selling it for. So yeah, let's, uh, let's go ahead and shuffle these a bit. It says we're looking for purple wave frame. So let's open this up, first pack. We have Zeb Aurelios from uh, the Star Wars Rebels. We have Ned B. Cassian Andor, I would love to get a, a wave, uh, a purple wave of Andor. Like, that show is so slept on, it was so good. Like if you haven't watched Andor, like 10 out of 10 recommend, like it's some of the best Star Wars content. I think it's the best Star Wars content since Revenge of the Sith, so. And tech. So we got no, um, no wave in that one. Uh, we got no, there's anime madness cards, which is just like Star Wars cards, but anime drawn and they're so cool. Okay, second pack here. We got Galen Urso from Rogue One. Hera Syndulla from Rebels. We got a Mace Windu, that's awesome. I, I, Mace Windu is my, my favorite, man. We got Janna, and we got Cobb Vanth from the Book of Boba Fett as our purple wave foil here. That is nice. Let me get a sleeve for him. Very cool. I, I actually like the character. He's pretty cool. Um, very nice card. I don't mind it. It's not particularly one I, I want, like I'd go out and buy, but I mean, I don't mind pulling it. At least it's not like a dud, like a sequel trilogy character. I'm sorry for all the sequel trilogy lovers. Yeah, the sequel trilogy is pretty trash, not gonna lie. Um, Chrysanthemum, Ahsoka Tano. Nice! Look what we got, a Monikers Anakin, the Chosen One. That is sweet. So these Moniker cards, um, I think you get like two or three of them per box, but there's like 15 or 20 of them or something like that. So get Anakin, that's really cool. I, I, I prefer getting Jedi, you know, that is sweet. Very nice card, happy with that. Next pack here. 
Oh, we got a, looks like we got a Grogu in the back. Hopefully that's the purple wave. We got Count Dooku. There we go, we got an Anime Madness. See, see what I'm telling you? Like these cards are sweet, man. Look at that. Anime Madness. Looks like, um, looks like when Luke is destroying the Death Star. That is nice, look at that. So let me put this card down, let me sleeve that up. That is so cool. These Anime Madness cards are really cool. That was whoever at Tops thought like, hey, we need to do this, or these Mango Madness, I'm sorry. Whoever at Tops was like, hey, we need to do this for these cards, like, that's a great idea. So, we got Grogu. We got Owen Lars, and yes, this is a great pull. This is like a big hit. Like, this is like a really big hit. Uh, Purple Wave, Grogu. Like, that is sweet because every card can come as a Purple Wave, or if you go to a Target, a Black Wave. And um, yeah, so like Grogu, I mean, Grogu so iconic. Like I'm wearing a Grogu shirt. Like <laughs> it, Grogu is so iconic and lots of people will want this card. So like, that's like a really good pull. Like a really good pull. There's, it's a hundred card set. So to get Grogu as our purple wave. So we pulled both of our purple waves, but there's still a chance we can get something out of the ordinary, like a numbered card, or we can get uh, an auto. Autos are pretty rare. So, there's still a chance. Okay, so we got BB-8, Kylo Ren, another Grogu, and Quinlan Voss. Yeah, so these Grogu cards, at first, when I was uh, opening uh, this set, I thought they were like super rare and like all that stuff, but these Grogu cards, you literally get like four or five per box. So like, they're just like, meh, they're whatever. All right, next pack here. Echo, there's a regular uh, base Grogu. Like I said, uh, all these cards can come as a purple wave. So the fact that we pulled a purple wave in Grogu is pretty, pretty big. That's like an awesome pull. There's a Cobb Vanth, or a regular base. Uh, Boss Nass. So we have four packs left. Maybe we'll get blessed with like another Monikers or Anime Madness one. And uh, maybe uh, we can get uh, a signed card or a numbered card. Oh wow, that looks like something there. This pack looks lit, okay. Sonara Sun, another anime madness or another manga madness card. That's Han Solo and Chewbacca. And uh, I can't see that far, but it looks like they're at the bar that where they met Luke um, in episode four. So a monikers Kylo Ren. That is sweet. Um, even though I'm, I'm not the biggest fan of the, of the sequel trilogy. <laughs> It, it kind of sucked. It was terrible, uh, very bad for the franchise. Just saying, but that's just my opinion. But look at this, though. Look at this. Uh, Mango Madness. Uh, Han Solo. That is pretty sweet. I'm running out of sleeves over here, but very nice. Very very nice. Three packs left. Let's pull a numbered card. Let's get an autograph, please. All right, General Leia Organa, Dark Ray, Resistance Do, Princess Leia Organa. Oh man, can we all agree that the Obi Wan show like just like was terrible and it sucked? Um, it wasn't good. <laughs> okay, I don't know why I put this girl right here. She probably just fell. Two packs left. We got Sabine Ren. We got BD1. We got another Grogu card. And we got Reva. She like legit got more screen time than Obi-Wan in Obi-Wan show. Yeah. Okay. Last pack here. We got a Yoda. 
we got Admiral Akbar, and we got another Grogu card, and we got Claude. So, okay, let's take a look at our hits from today. We got a Cobb Vanth, which is meh. He has a fan base, you know, he's a cool character. He wore the uh, Boba Fett's Mandalorian armor, so that's pretty sweet. And um, the Mango Madness, uh, Han Solo and Chewie, that, that's pretty sweet. A nice looking card. I wanna grade all these Mango Madness cards. They're just so nice. Got a Monikers, Kylo Ren, which is meh, I'm not a fan of the sequel trilogy, but that's okay. Grogu, big hit, big hit. That's a good hit, yeah. Uh, Mango Madness, uh, Luke, and then Anakin. This is a great, great pull. Like, I, I love uh, the prequel trilogy and the original trilogy. They're all so nice, but just the sequel was good. That is nice. Any Anakin cards are sweet. And yeah, guys, um, let me know if you like this or not. Let me know if y'all are Star Wars fans. Um, yeah, uh, I'm gonna start doing giveaways soon, just as the channel grows. Um, but it's better that you start entering them now because like literally like two or three people comment on my videos. So like there's a good chance, like a one in three chance of you winning. So uh, when I start doing giveaways, just keep an eye out and uh, so that you can win, you know? Anyways, uh, make sure to like and subscribe primarily for Yu-Gi-Oh! content, but uh, I will be doing off things every once in a while because I collect other TCGs like Final Fantasy, Kingdom Hearts, Pokemon. Um, I, I mostly collect Yu-Gi-Oh! but yeah, just to change it up a little bit every now and then. But thank you guys for watching. I hope you all enjoy and uh, have a wonderful day. Drifters out.